Hey y'all, peace on earth and love and light to you. This is a pick a card reading for a full moon and cancer. So I guess just for the ones it is happening today and I was just led to do this today. So I guess it's just going to be a special message for the ones who are who find this video on today. So maybe if you do find the video later on, the message could very well still resonate with you. So I know I said I was going to do this at the end of the other video, but I, I decided to just end that video because I've been doing these videos long enough to know what you know when stuff start messing up and uh <laughs> for some reason my videos just don't go past 30 something minutes for some reason they just never do i don't intentionally do that but maybe because sometimes things start to mess up around 20 minutes so yeah but anyways um i would prefer you to be led to a selenite piece because that is the way that i conditioned this video to go but if you are already led to a number or a card, then go ahead and stick with that because that is just your intuition speaking to you. So, um, I picked out these selenite pieces because I know they really work well with the moon. Selenite works well with the moon in general and uh, with the energy of the moon. But, and also it works with, you know, the sign of Cancer really well. And, you know, Cancer and the moon is just, um, Cancers and the moon just, um, the moon and Cancer resonates with each other anyways and i've heard that like if you're a cancer like a lot of cancers you just sometimes like kind of just look up at the moon and just kind of find so much you know um intrigue with the moon so they're really intrigued with the moon but i am my north node is in cancer and i am a moon person also i don't know if that has anything to do with anything because i'm not really astrologically is that a word <laughs> challenged savvy but i do like astrology and i do look it up from time to time and i'm going to be doing more full moon readings because i do listen to those and um like i said i'm all about the the moon so i'm going to do more full moon readings and more new moon pick a card readings for you guys also so um these might look similar but they are not this is more straight up and down you can see this one has a little something sticking out forward this is just my selenite pen so um let's see which one we are led to first oh let me tell you guys let me explain for those of you who don't know want to be a part of the reading time steps will be below so you can just fast forward if you want to hear it because i tell you guys all the time when i talk in the beginning of my video sometimes i know i'm rambling and sometimes, uh, for the most part, I'm educating you guys because for me and my readings, that is what's most important for us to be all on the same page here. So this is a time for endings, you guys. And when it comes to any cardinal sign, it's just really a time that you... I have to pause the video because I was just about to say all the cardinal signs are good for it my mind just went blank so pray for me you guys because i said it in the last video with the winter solstice and for some reason i can't i can't remember so <laughs> any one of you guys that do that does readings like this you know that happens sometimes and i don't have time to just sit up here and think but i know that this is a time for indies this is a time to really manifest anything that you want okay and so during this time, this is a full moon. Any one of you guys who do full moon uh, rituals, then um, of course on any full moon, it's time for manifestation. But when it comes to this Cancer full moon, this is really um, a sign. This is really the time where you can manifest because this moon is all about endings. You can really manifest anything that you want during this time. Okay, so. Don't be afraid to ask for something big, just whatever you want. Okay, so let's go to. I'm going to start with this middle one here. I'm going to start with the middle one here and let's see what your full moon and cancer reading is. <clears throat> Look down, it was 444. Four, four. I'm catching 444 four, four. and 44 is in a lot of my videos. Hey, children, I just told y'all don't play hide and seek in here because I'm doing my reading.
Okay, I'm going to start off with this right here because it's really sticking out for me. Embrace the mo moment. And when it comes to this card, I'm really seeing this moment right now. This is your time. This is the moment that you should be looking forward to, okay? Embrace the moment. This moment right now, this is the moment that Spirit is saying, you are here on this video for a reason. Do not, um, do not think that whatever you want to manifest, like sometimes we get and um, we kind of lose our faith. And that's why this trust card is here too. Because we're really just waiting on stuff for so long. And you're like, when is it? When is the time? Well, this is the time. And that's why Spirit is saying embrace this moment. Because now is the time for change. Five, five, five. I just saw that. Now is the time for change. And that's what I was going to say. All of the cardinal signs are good for change. <laughs> that's what I was trying to say. So, any changes that you want to manifest right now now is your time to do it okay this is the time this embrace the moment card is really saying your moment at this time right now this is your chance this is your moment you're wondering when is now you guys with this full moon and cancer in this winter solstice energy this is really the time for you to step into exactly who you want to be and for you to get exactly what you need and for some of you um you can go to the winter solstice video that i that i um upload it if you want to see more messages on how to what the things that spirit you know can possibly have for you during this time and the way to get it because those cards really came out, you know, what spirit wants you to focus on during this time and how to get certain things. So you can go back, you can go to that video if you would like. So this is your time. I'm really seeing that with this embrace the moment card. Okay. And just trust that it is your time because we can't do anything without faith. That's how I believe. And you have to trust the universe is going to do this for you because if you are not on the same wavelength as the universe if you're not vibrating positively because that's what the universe responds to positive the uh positivity then how can we expect anything to happen for us you know so we have to trust the universe at the time trust when i say that the universe is saying okay you're wondering when well this is now okay so if you're saying I want this change to happen in my life um, within the next couple of months, within the next couple of weeks. Okay, well, your time is now. So manifest that on today. Put that into the universe today, okay? Just um, if you do any rituals, then you will know how to do that if you don't. Put it in the atmosphere on today and trust that this will happen, okay? So strength, and I just feel like this is just something that a lot of you guys have been needing here lately. It's just saying that you've just been at your wits end on some things. I totally understand that. Haven't we all been there? I've been there. And Spirit is going to give you this strength that you need. They're going to give you the energy that you need to get by. Hey, I've been asking about that because it's something that I'm really trying to um, um, uh, get within the next two weeks. And I've been asking Spirit, like, give me the strength. And I love that this card came out for you guys because Spirit is just is telling you, hey, we actually have your back and we're gonna give you the strength that you need to get there okay like i mean i wasn't drawn to this car i really wasn't drawn to any cars i should have been i should have picked a car <laughs> but this is really resonating with me and i would love if i got this card right now because i just love to hear what spirit is saying we're not gonna let you fall we're not gonna let you um get overtaken by any negativity we're actually giving you strength so we're giving you strength we're giving you everything that you need to get by this situation and you know what like i said spirit is saying this is your moment this is your time your time is right now trust and believe that this is going to happen for you so only thing you have to do right now you guys for those of you who are drawn to this to the second selenite um i have to say something they're not really selenites they're satin spurs 
So yeah, you guys, a lot of people, I, I wish I would have said that at the beginning of the video. A lot of people sell these as selling lights and they are actually called satin spurs. Okay, but that is all for those of you who were drawn to the second one. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I don't have to say anything else. This is your time. Your time is right now for those of you who were drawn to the second one. So anything you want. Hey, don't wait till tomorrow. Do it today so it can come true, okay? I'm going to go to the first one. Let's just get these out of the way. Those of you who are drawn to the first selenite piece, let me say this. Um, they, I know people market these as selenite, and they're not selenite. This is actually satin spur, okay? So, yeah, I didn't know that at first. These are your cards. Okay, you guys, I've been saying the whole time, and I've just been seeing these numbers, 1055, 5, the number for change. This is a time for change. When it comes to the full moon in Cancer, if you listen to any astrology video, they say that they say that a lot. This is a time for change, and, when, and that's what I was trying to think of in the beginning. Any of the cardinal signs really are good signs for change, okay? So, and, um... When I saw 55 down there, that's the message that Spirit wants me to tell you. So that's just confirmation that this is actually a your this is actually a time for change. And I really feel like your time to shine. That's what I'm hearing right now. This is just in, me intuitively speaking. I'm not really reading the cards right now. Your time to shine, okay? So this new beginning that you want, some of you guys are feeling like that it's just not going to come. It's never going to come. This positive new beginning. Some of you guys just want to start over. So I guess maybe sometimes you guys want to move. 11.55, I just look down. So you want to move. the, And I tell you guys, sometimes I look at 5 as a number for moving. So this is something that's dead definitely going to happen for you you have to set those attentions during that time and this is the time to actually manifest anything you want so if you're going to move then do that ritual that you do do say that prayer that you pray you know when it comes to um this full moon because it's full moon energy is really going to change some things for the better you guys in your life okay and it's going to actually move you into this positive new beginning that you want so those of you who want to move house I know I do. I tell you guys all, that all the time. I want to go to Los Angeles, California, because that's what spirit is putting me at. Okay, so this is actually your time. And I'm looking at this take a moment card. And what I'm hearing, though, is this is your moment. This is your time. Take this moment as your opportunity. Don't let this pass. Okay. If some of you guys were led to the last card, the, the last one was saying something very similar to that. Take this moment. What I'm hearing. It says take a moment, but this is what I'm hearing, okay? That's why you can't read this all the time. Take this moment as your time to manifest your new beginning that you want and the things that you want in your life okay so i feel like a lot of peace some of you guys need so much peace i'm looking at this serenity card upside down i'm getting a kind of negative feeling because that is saying some of you guys are not in where you're supposed to be right now and that's why you're experiencing a lot of negativity and you're you're just you want to be at peace and you're just not at peace where you are you guys i tell you guys my story all the time and i try to be very honest with you guys so you guys can get to know me and you can know what's going on in my situation because i know that you guys positive energy um, it's what gets me through sometimes, and I'm in this situation. I wasn't led to this card, but I'm definitely in a situation where I would like more peace in my life, and I want to move to where I want to be. So if that is your situation also, this card came out just to let me know that this is what you're experiencing, but this is definitely coming for you. Your serenity is coming, okay? Your peacefulness is coming, okay? Whatever you want, whatever you desire, whatever this is for you, this positive new beginning, whatever this change is that you want, um, 
this positive change in your life, this is your moment. So take this moment, this full moon energy in Cancer to manifest whatever you want. I look down for 1444 you guys literally when i'm talking i'm looking out so when i'm looking down that is me literally catching the numbers okay 1455 44s and 55s through all of these readings today isn't that amazing and when i saw 1444 444 what do i always tell you guys when it comes to my readings that's the number for angels and archangels saying that this is this is something divinely guided this is somewhere that we want you to be the angels actually your spiritual team actually put you on this reading for you to hear this message so this is actually saying this is what we have for you right now this is your time the time is now don't let this energy this perfect energy this full moon and cancer energy pass you by use this time to manifest exactly what you want because spirit is saying the portal is open right now the door is open so what is it that you want you know what is this what is it that you want girls and guys what do you want do you want that new car do you want that new house do you want that business to manifest do you want more peace into your life do you want that man do you want that woman you know what do you want do you want a new pet in your life? What do you want? Do you want to? Do you want to um, grow your hair longer? Do you want a new style? What do you want? <laughs> you know, anything that you want that you know is gonna that that is gonna take more help. You know, and just anything, put it out there because this is your moment. Take this moment, this opportunity as your time to shine because that's what you're gonna be doing from here on out. Okay, once you take this moment. You're going to be shining, okay? So, <laughs> I'm thinking of that Beyonce song, that Beyonce, Jay-Z, DJ, Kelly song, that shining, 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 yeah. That song, I'm thinking about that. I love that song. All of this went in. <laughs> because when I hear that song, I feel like that. I feel like it's just saying, and like she's saying that song, uh, they should say, hold up, don't try to slow me down. That song is for you guys, okay? Go listen to that song and let it motivate you. Because I always feel like, when I hear that song, I always feel like I am a winner, okay? So, those of you who were led to this selenite pen right here, let me tell you guys. A, a lot of people market this as selenite, but it's not selenite. It's actually called satin spur. So, I think you only got two cards. So, let me see. Okay, so immediately I'm going to tell you guys I have two different messages. So, um, of course, some of you want love. And I'm going to say this. I, some of you are in a relationship right now that you're not supposed to be in. You want love. That's why you're here. You're like, you want love in the right way. This is coming. So, you know what you have to do? Just ask for it. I look down, it's 1744. I've said that in every reading that I've had. Because, you guys, when I'm doing these readings, I'm looking up. And then I look down, okay, 17.55, and I'm not even looking at the clock. So when I'm looking down and I catch these numbers, these numbers are for us. I've been seeing these fours and these fives in every reading, you guys. So this is very powerful. You guys, my three-year-old, hold on. Israel, calm down, please. So, <laughs> and... Four to fours, when I see four to fours, I always say the number for archangels and angels. This is um, something that's divinely guided. So the angels are saying that, your spiritual guides are saying that this is the video that you're supposed to be on right now. This is where you're supposed to be at. So use this as confirmation. This is something that's supposed to happen. Anything that you want during this time, during this full moon and cancer time, just ask for it. So if this love relationship that you're in already is not what you want it to be then ask spirit to make this better for you okay if you are with someone you don't want to give up on that person then ask your spiritual team hey can you show me how me and this person can better communicate or better get along because this is a great person i don't want to give up on this person so just show me you know the right way to, the right way to go by doing this okay but if this person is not meant for you at this time then spirit when you do show spirit that then do not be suspicious be surprised the spirit is saying okay if you want this love that you say that you want then it's time for you to leave because spirit is going to either help you get closer to this person or spirit is 
is going to show you that you have to leave. Anything that you want. So say that you guys are single and you're wanting this love. You want uh, <clears throat> a relationship that's full of love. Someone that's going to love you for exactly who you are. Okay. First, you have to learn how to love yourself. Okay. So, so once you learn to love yourself, and I feel like some of you guys are not accepting who you are 100%, okay? You have to love who you are 100%. I first started learning that a couple of years ago when, it, um, and I was listening to Raph Smart, who used to always say that. And you guys, that is, it is so important that you have to when it comes to accepting yourself for who you are because there are things that we all don't like about ourselves and if you can change it then change it but still you have to learn to accept it you know you can't just become disgusted with yourself because it's a part of you okay and even if we have flaws you have to accept that you know i'm a Taurus, so what do they say about Taurus? tauruses that's real negative they say that uh, we could be really mean. One thing that I find very, very offensive, because they say we could be really mean and we really belittle people sometimes. And I've had people to tell me that. <laughs> and I don't like that because I don't like when people belittle other people. But I've had people to tell me that. But even with that being said, I'm learning to say, hey, I could be stubborn sometimes. I could be materialistic sometimes. I could care too much about what a person looks like sometimes. But, hey, it is in me for some reason <laughs> to be like that. But I accept it about myself. I accept it. I'm not fixing to beat myself up and say, oh, how dare you be like that? Like belittling people? I hate that. So how dare you be like that? No, I have to accept that's just the way that I am. And when that side of me comes up, then, you know, I can change it or, you know, um, find a better way to uh, talk to people, basically. You still have to love and accept yourself for who you are 100%, okay? So, um... Like I was saying, but if you want love and you know that you ready, you're ready, you know that you've done the work on yourself, then this is coming for you at this time. During this full moon and cancer energy, just ask for anything that you want. Okay, this is the other message that I'm getting for those of you who are not necessarily looking for love because um, this is a point in time in my life right now that I'm not looking for love. This is saying also that... um. Whatever you want, ask for it at this time, okay? Don't let this opportunity pass you by. I love when I look down and I just talk two, 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 okay? And on the other reading, it like <laughs> I just picked up double, double for your trouble. So when I see this love card, this is really you loving the skin you're in, loving the place that you're at in your life, loving every single thing around you okay so this can be for those of you who are not looking for a relationship or just if this message really resonate resonate resonates with you okay this is a person that's really just going to come into everything that they are really looking to have because spirit is saying why because they say that you deserve this like i said some of you guys know i've done the work on myself I am, um, I've remained positive. I've remained faithful. I kept my faith in hard times. The spirit is saying, okay, well, we're going to give you this peace that you want. We're going to, um, give you this mindset to where you're really just going to be, um, at peace with a lot of things or in just in love with this love card is here because you're saying you're going to really love the place that you're at in your life when this starts to manifest okay and if you want it this is the time to ask for it do you a full moon ritual uh say your prayers however which way you believe okay and that is all, you guys. For those of you who led to the last one, let me know down in the comments if any of this resonated with you at all. And continue to come and continue to come and grow with me and subscribe. <laughs> Bye.